feel like I've been doing so many vlogs recently where I've had a very strict TBR or I've had to like stick to certain things or I don't know TBR draws choosing my TBR and I thought I just want a week where I choose whatever I want to read when I want to read it. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing this week. I'm going to be doing like a mood read, cozy reading vlog kind of vibe. I did one a few weeks ago, not even that, like a month ago now, probably even two months ago now, where I did, I, it was when I was reading the Christmas City 3 book and it was unintentionally a very chilled <laughs> reading week where I read that book very slowly and I got a lot of really positive comments basically saying you enjoyed the fact that it was really chilled and we kind of just hung out. So that's what I would like to do again. I have got a little stack here of books that I am sort of thinking about getting into. These are the books that are tip top of my TBR, but I'm not making myself stick to this whatsoever. We're just gonna pick a random book as and when, but these are the books that I looked at just now and I went, I really wanna read these at the minute. So I think that at least the first book is gonna be from this stack and then we're just gonna go from there. But I'm not gonna set like an official TBR or anything like that. These are just ones that are on my radar that I might choose from, but I do have like, I think almost 80 or 90 books now on my physical TBR after my birthday book haul. So we have a lot to choose from. So the ones that I have set in front of me at the minute are the ones that I'm really very much considering. So I have Triple Duty Bodyguards by Lily Gold. I have Sea of Ruin by Pam Godwin. I also have A Love Letter to Whiskey by Candy Steiner. I've heard a lot of people say that I need to read the anniversary edition. So if I do pick this up, I might get it on Kindle Limited as well so that I can read the bonus content because I think there's like bonus chapters and bonus POVs and things like that. So I might pick that up on Kindle Limited if I can. I also have Darling Venom by Pocket S. Huntington as well. Coach by Devney Perry. I feel like this is the top one. It's maybe the first one we'll read or maybe it'll be it'll be included probably like 90% sure it'll be included in this video at some point. I then have Indigo Ridge by Daphne Perry as well and then Do Your Worst by Rosie Denan. So these are the ones that are kind of staring at me at the minute. I think I'm gonna start with Coach because I've been really really wanting to read it. So I think I'm gonna start with this. You're just gonna follow me along for a week. We're gonna have a nice chill week. I'm just gonna read at my own pace and read what I want. I'm not gonna try and stick to the like three books. If I can I will but if I don't it's not gonna be a big deal. We're just gonna hang out and we're gonna chill and we're gonna read but this is the first one I'm gonna pick up. I think this follows a man who used to be like a football star and then he ends up having a son or something and then he becomes a coach and there's a romance because of course there is so I'm very excited for this one but yeah we're gonna just trundle along for this week and read together and just have a really cozy time so let's cut to me starting in on this book. Hello everyone, it is now like a week I think since I last checked in with you because I filmed that intro like a week ago and girl I did not realise how downhill it was all gonna go. I filmed that I think prior to my video where I did my unreading wrapped up books kind of vibe and if you've watched that video you'll know that I ended up in like a bit of a reading slump towards the end of the week which kind of timed this video perfectly because my whole thing is I've done so many videos recently where I've had like a set TBR right and I haven't really been able to choose what books I want to read and when I to the final book I read Two Tissy Crowns as my last book in that video and I loved it I loved it but I said in that video I just feel like I'm in a slump like I don't want to pick up a book I don't want to read I don't want to do any of it and I have never well I don't want to say never I've definitely had reading slumps before but it's been years like years and years and years since I've last had one because I don't tend to get them luckily um so I was scared <laughs> So this video was kind of timed perfectly because I was like, I know I have this mood reading thing coming up. I can read whatever I want. And that is exactly what I need at the moment. So I think I said that the book that I was gonna pick up was Coach. I very much did that. I picked it up last night and I got like over halfway through. I'm like 75% in. I'm reading on my Kindle. <laughs> if you couldn't tell by my little Kindle setup that I have here. Um, I'm reading this on my Kindle. Here's the thing, here's the thing. I don't think this book is great. I don't. However, I'm reading it so quickly and I'm having the time of my life. Does that make sense? I feel like there are books that I read that I don't think are masterpieces. I really don't, but they're quick and they're fun and they're easy and they're enjoyable. And that's exactly what this book is. This book is dual point of view. So we have two points of view in this. Our main female character and our main male character basically had this like friendship at school and they have this kiss towards the end of this friendship and it kind of ruins everything and they don't see each other for like 10 years after that. He ends up being a single dad he has this girlfriend, oh well, this wife. He gets married to this woman and they have this child. Well, they have this child prior to the marriage and then they end up getting married. He ends up getting divorced because it was a messy marriage anyway and moves back to the town where she lives. And they kind of rekindle after about 10 years. She thinks that he ran away because he didn't like her and the kiss ruined everything, but there's like, actually like layers and layers to it. That's sort of vibe, right? He's this football star that is now a coach for the team that she works for. And they have to cross paths because they work together. And it's them rekindling their like best friendship, but also their relationship whilst him being a single dad, whilst it also being kind of a workplace coach romance situation. I hope that I explained that well. I feel like I just waffled and didn't actually make any solid points, but that is what this book is about. Again, I'm like 75% of the way through and I flew through it and it's dragging me very much out of my reading slump. I think I needed something like this. I'm wearing my like fantasy, <laughs> 
fantasy jumper, but I, I want to read quick, steamy, fun romances. That's what I want to do at the minute to try and get me out of this slump. So, so I'm 75% of the way through this. I think it's sitting at like a three star, like 3.5. I don't think it's a three, maybe 3.75, something like that. I don't think it's phenomenal because it's very, I don't know, there's not a lot of depth to it, but that's kind of what I want. So I'm having a really good time, but I don't think it's the best book ever. So that's my update for this book. It's very much helping with my whole mood reading situation. I also wanted to say, going back to this jumper that I feel like I've been wearing in literally every video ever. This jumper is from Literature Stitches. I've said before, I said it in my last video where I like hauled them. I think I hauled them in my reading wrapped up books video. I got this one, I got a Throne of Glass one, I got a Romance Reader one, and I got a Cowboy Romance one, and they're all from Literature Stitches. And I'm now a rep for Literature Stitches, which makes me so happy because I adore all of their designs, and Amy who runs it is just gorgeous, amazing, phenomenal. I love her. She's so friendly and just so welcoming and great, and she offered this to me, and I now have a code for you guys so it's Ellen Catherine 10 you'll get 10% off if you were interested in picking any of these up I know I got quite a few messages from you guys saying that you were going to order some so if that is going to help you save some money and put an order in then feel free to use that code I already have four jumpers from her but I already have another four sat in my car at the moment so we will see if I end up purchasing those but they are UK based book merch and that's what I've been wanting for ages and that's what I finally got so if you want to you can use Ellen Catherine 10 and it'll get you 10% off if you were interested in buying any of her jumpers I'm gonna sign off for now um I'm gonna finish this it is currently the start of my lunch break so I think I'm gonna try and finish this in my lunch break update you once I finish that and then start in on a new book and update you when I choose that book. This is great. I don't have like a set book that I need to read next. I'm just gonna go based off of vibes and knowing me and knowing the mood I'm in, it's probably gonna be a steamy fun romance of some description. So I'll check in with you once I've finished this. this angle and lighting is not doing me any favors but we're pushing through babe um i ended up finishing poach by devney perry i'm gonna give this a 3.5 everything that i said in my last clip stands true i feel the exact same way i do about it as i did in my last clip this was really fun this was exactly what i needed to drag me out my book slump i am <laughs> i feel like i wasn't in a natural reading slump because it never fully hit it was like going down and this has like forced me back up again so it's very much done me some favors in that department so i can't complain it's gonna be 3.5 i don't think it was phenomenal. I think it was very repetitive in parts and it lacked a lot of depth for me personally. I don't need like traumatic experiences or like absolute like in love. I just, it just, I just didn't really care about either of these characters that much because I feel like they were very surface level. That's the best way to put it. But it was exactly what I needed. So I can't really complain. And I've just had the best time just being able to choose whatever book I want. So if you guys like this kind of video, then please let me know because I love reading vlogs. I do them every week. We know this. Um, and I do like a set TBR, but sometimes Times when I've done set TBR after set TBR, it gets a bit old and I'm like, I just want to sit and read what I want to read. So this is what I'm doing in this vlog, obviously. So if you like seeing that, I will do them more often because I'm very much enjoying myself and it was what I needed. I think if I had another video lined up after my reading wrapped up books one that was another like rigid set TBR, I think I would have very much struggled and I think I would have very much entered my reading slump. So I'm glad that I haven't and I've read this book. I have also dragged my TBR cart over here. This angle isn't great because obviously this has like, well I say obviously, you can't see it. This has three levels to it and they're all completely chock-a-block. Um, <laughs> but I brought it over so that we could have a look and we could choose the next book because I get to choose whatever I want. I already have one in mind, but I have two in mind. I'm thinking either this or this for my next read, I think. This one is one that I'm more interested in and I think I will prefer it. However, I think that this has slightly more deeper plot points to it, if that makes sense. Like literally the first line is determined to walk away from a traumatic past, which isn't really my vibe at the minute. So I might, I don't think I'll do that one because I kind of want something light and fluffy. So maybe I'll do this. Three Swedish Mountain Men by Lily Gold. I've not read anything by Lily Gold. These are all like reverse harem. I always say harem. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. That's how everyone I've ever heard pronounce it. Anyway, it's reverse harem where it's three men, one woman. Um, and I have all of her books here. I don't think they have to go in a specific order. I think they're all interconnected standalone kind of vibes. And I'm pretty sure in this one, she ends up getting stranded somewhere in Sweden and gets rescued by these three men and obviously then has a romance with them. So we will see. I think this is the one I'm going to pick up. It's also the shortest of them all. If you hadn't noticed, that's kind of why I chose it. Um, I think they're all on Kindle Unlimited as well. So I'll probably read them on Kindle Unlimited. Oh my God, I need to stop flicking through books because I see scenes 
that I have no business seeing. Anyway, I think I'm gonna pick this one up. This is so exciting, this is so exciting. I will pick this up and I will check in with you when I have some thoughts to share on it, but I'm hoping for another fun, quick, easy read with this one. been wearing the same jumper in literally every check-in um and you're just gonna have to deal with that because i feel like i'm gonna be living in this i spoke to amy the woman that runs this shop and she was like oh, i don't tend to get very many orders for this jumper and then suddenly she's getting a lot for them because i feel like this is the main one that i wear all the time and this is what you guys have been seeing me wear so i would highly recommend it it's my favorite one as you can probably tell anyway it is the next day since i last checked in with you and i ended up picking this up last night best believe i read like over half of it in one sitting i can safely say i'm out of my book slump uh not that i was properly in one but you know i've like brought myself back up from possibly being in one this is so good it's another one of those where it's like i know it's not amazing but i'm having the best time does that make sense i hope you guys all know what i mean i feel like it's gonna be like a good at least 3.754 at least so I'm having a really good time. Um, I think I did explain the premise to this, but it is basically exactly what it says on the tin. This woman who gets stranded in Sweden, she's kind of running away from a problematic past, like something happened and she's running away from it. So she goes to Sweden, middle of nowhere. Um, she ends up crashing her car and these two, well, two guys come and save her and bring her home to a house of three guys. And then there's a relationship kind of between all of them. Um, I'm having a really good time. I think it's really fun. It is multiple points of view. So you get everyone's point of view in this, which I think is really cool and i like all of them um and they're all it's, it's one of those things where i've read romances like this before where it's multiple men and i feel like there's always that thing where it's like oh one's the really mean one one's the really lovely one one's the kind of mysterious do you know what i mean do you know what i mean and it's very much falling into that which i think is fun and i think it makes things easier when you have that many characters to keep track of if they do have quite stark differences in their characters otherwise i'm gonna get confused um but i'm having a really good time this is really fun it's exactly what i needed it is quite short. I think the thing is, I'm reading it on my Kindle and it says I'm over halfway through, but it did take me a good long while and this is only like 300 pages. So I don't know what that's about. In, either way, either way, really liking this. Really glad I picked it up. I'm really liking her writing as well. So I'm glad I've got the other books in this series because I will most certainly be reading all of those, but I'm having a wonderful time. Also, <laughs> I literally just spoke to my friend. I have quite a lot of you girlies that are also F1 girlies. I learned that in my last video that I did because I spoke about F1 in my last video and a lot of you guys commented like oh, i'm an f1 girly as well so you guys will appreciate this um one of my best mates now lives in australia she's been living there for like a year and she is in melbourne and guess where the f1 race is this weekend melbourne and she was out on a walk this morning for her um she was out on a walk guess who she bumped into who was out on a run george russell george russell apparently he ran past her and she like stared at him and he did a little like like hi little you know like the british people do the little closed lip smile i was like damn She's really living the life. She just messaged, I got like a million messages, like you'll never guess what, <laughs> you'll never guess who I bumped into. Um, and she said, hint, he's really bad at posing and he always posts shirt shirtless pictures. And I was like, oh, George Russell, Mr. George Russell. Um, so she bumped into him and I was like, you are living the life. I wish that was me. Either way, that was kind of everything that I wanted to say. I felt the need to share that. I am gonna crack on with this. I always say crack on, I need to stop doing that. I'm gonna carry on with this book. Like I said, I'm really loving it. And I'm in such a good mood because I'm really enjoying this whole mood reading thing. I feel like, I'm not necessarily i don't necessarily feel pressured to read books because i always say i do this as like a hobby this is meant to be a hobby it's meant to be fun and i don't want to force myself to read books that i don't want to read and if i'm forcing myself to read a book then i should dnf it right because i'm clearly not enjoying it if i'm forcing myself so it's just been nice to have a week where i can choose whatever i want and it feels less pressure because yeah i'm still making a video out of it like it's still going to be an enjoyable video so that kind of is spurring me on which is maybe not the best reason to be spurred on by it but i'm having a good time i'm reading good books and i think it's also helped by the fact that i just did a massive haul in which i hauled like what 60 books or something ridiculous like that which has replenished my stores of like tbr books to read and books that i'm really excited about so i'm having a really good time i'm also getting my nails done today it's currently wednesday and these nails are so grown out i don't know if you can even see that but they are so grown out and i'm getting some crazy ones um i'm not sure if they're gonna be everyone's cup of tea but i am getting some like crazy black and white ones with a load of charms that's the vibe. So I'm doing that at like 6.30 tonight. It's currently lunchtime. So I'm doing that at like 6.30. So I might not check in with you today about it, but I might check in with you tomorrow. 
and show you what I've got. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And they're due a fill because they are, they are very grown out. That's my day. It is lunch, like I said. I'm gonna go grab some food and then I'm working obviously today. So I'm gonna work for the rest of the afternoon. Maybe finish this tonight, get my nails done and then go to work tomorrow and probably check in with you after all of that has happened. So I will see you whenever I next have a chance to pick up the camera. officially off to get my nails done i i hate i hate appointments i've literally been sat for the last like probably hour at this point just like scrolling on my phone because i'm nervous i get so nervous for appointments i know a lot of you guys are anxiety girlies as well so maybe you can relate and my nail girl is so nice and i know it won't be a long appointment because it's literally just an infill and a new design and i love having my nails done i just hate having my nails done do you know what i mean <laughs> It's also like ever so slightly early, but I think I'm gonna head off now because I need to find a parking space and everything. But that's what I'm gonna go do. I have been reading a bit more of Three Swedish Mountain Men. We're getting to the like third act conflict and it's making me dislike the book, which is always great. So I don't know. I'll talk more about it when I actually do my final check-in for it, but I am probably gonna lower it to like a three rather than a four because the third act conflict is not sitting right with me but i will explain that in my check-in but i'm gonna go get my nails done i'm excited to have these gone and i'm excited to have my new design i'm just not excited to sit for like two hours so i'll probably see you maybe tomorrow i'm thinking maybe tomorrow tomorrow let's go with tomorrow i don't know how good the lighting is but it's like 4 p.m i've literally <laughs> got my lanyard on still it's literally just the end of the work day i'm about to head home i thought i would check in with you because i've made progress i have a lot faster than i thought i did I finished this book, I have. I ended up sitting and finishing it last night. I had my little like Kindle holder thing and I curled up in bed and I finished the whole book. Um, I think the last time I checked in with you was just before I was going to get my nails done. And I was saying that the third act conflict kind of rubbed me the wrong way and it did. But I think it kind of redeemed itself. I'm gonna explain what I mean. Essentially in this one, I think I've said what is happening, but we get to the third act conflict, which is very much alluded to for the majority of the book. I feel like as a reader, you kind of know what's gonna happen and you know what the vibe is gonna be. You know, you know what's gonna go down. And the way that one of the men in this, this dude right here, the way that he reacted to it, irked me and it's all very much oh he redeems himself and he realizes how wrong he was and all of that sort of thing but even just the way that the character spoke about the situation if you've read this i think you'll know but the, even the way that the character spoke about the situation rubbed me the wrong way and i didn't really like how it was discussed and i know the whole thing was our main character felt shame she was lying about certain things but that was perpetuated also by the characters in this and like the way that her family treated her which also makes sense because I know that it's meant to be like a conflict. So I'm really, really torn on it because I have to have these points of view in order to make it a conflict. Like you have to have people disliking what was going on in order to create conflict, like creating dislike between family members or dislike between this sort of, this group. Equally, some of their points of view, I was like, damn, like you're just a bad person then, no? Like if you're even thinking that, like you're a bad person. Um, it's really difficult to go into without telling you what it is. So I appreciate that that's very, very wishy-washy and probably doesn't tell you anything. I think I'm going to settle on a 3.5. I think that that is... I think that's a nice, nice round, I was going to say round number, it's quite literally not a round number, but you know what I mean, I feel like that feels right, a 3.5. It was very much fun, I very much liked the writing style, so I think I will enjoy more of her books. I did like the spice in this, I think there is a, well I was going to say a lot, there's definitely a lot of spice, but it's not like chock-a-block, so it's not too overwhelming. And I did find it really cute, I did think that our main character was kind of jarring at times, and some of the, some of the stuff was like irking me a little bit, and I think that it was, I think it was actually ever so slightly too short maybe which i never usually say but either way it's a 3.5 it was enjoyable it was a bit silly ridiculous but it was enjoyable and i enjoyed myself whilst i was reading it which is the main thing so i'm gonna head home i need to show you actually i got my nails done obviously um they're not gonna be everyone's cup of tea i really don't think they are um i hope that you can see the kind of vibe that they are i've got charms i've got stars i've got white and black i don't think everyone's gonna like them and that's absolutely fine if you don't like them that's chill because no one that i've seen yet today likes them <laughs> Like my, I came home and mum was like, oh, they're lovely. And my dad was like, oh, which is fine. They're my hands, they're my nails, but I love them. And my whole thing where I was stressing out about my appointment, um, my nail lady is literally the nicest person ever. Like we've only met twice now. She's only done my nails twice. She is so cute. She's my age. We just talked for like an hour and a half and she was wonderful. And I feel like I need to realize that I hype these appointments up in my head as if they're going to be awful. And literally every single time they're not even that bad. 
I feel like if you were anxiety girly like me, you will relate. You hype them up in your head as if it's gonna be this awful ordeal and then you get there and then you leave and you're like, damn, I wasted all of that time worrying. For what reason? Literally for what reason? It was absolutely fine. But you can't stop it. It's like a vicious cycle. Anyway, got my nails did really loved them finished my second book of the week i'm heading home now i'm going to like a choir recital thing i don't really know what to call it but my mum's friend is in a choir and they do like classical music and so they're doing a like performance this evening so i'm gonna go and see that i'm very excited i don't know how much reading i'll get done it's at like 7 30 so i'm thinking it shouldn't be too long and i should be back within enough time sorry my camera fell what I was saying was I should be back with enough time to at least read something this evening. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna drive home. I'm gonna go to this recital thing. I need to have some dinner, go to this recital thing. And then I need to pick another book to read, which is exciting because I can pick whatever I want. So next time I check in with you, I'll probably be tomorrow. It's Friday tomorrow. I'll read this one book and then I think we'll be done um, because I have another book that I need to read for my scavenger hunt. I have a scavenger hunt going up next week. So I need to read that. And my boyfriend gets back um, from uni this weekend and I've not seen him in like two months. So I'll be seeing him over the weekend. So I won't really be reading either way. So I'm going to go home. I'm going to go to this recital thing and then I'm going to choose another book and I'll probably check in with you tomorrow when I've decided what I'm going to read next. attempting to read this book like non-stop for the last day and I can't do it I can't do it um I think I made it like just under 100 pages into this book I don't like it I don't I don't I'm not DNFing it completely but I think I'm gonna have to soft DNF this book I just don't I don't understand what's going on I don't really care I think it's half and half like I'm still relatively in a slump not like necessarily a book book slump but like a reading slump I can't be bothered to read I don't want to and I don't want to force myself it's now Friday evening and I want this video up by Sunday and I can't do anything tomorrow because my boyfriend arrives back so I only had this evening to read it and that means I have like 300 pages left and I'm going out for dinner in like 10 minutes so I'm like I don't have the time to finish it even if I wanted to and I don't want to I don't want to. I just couldn't get into it. I think the first like 50 pages are all set when she's like 14 and some pretty traumatic stuff happens to her and I'm just like I didn't like reading from that point of view. I've just this second got onto her being like 21 and I'm much preferring it. I think that's where the story properly starts, but I'm still like, I don't know. I feel like the writing is really odd and a lot of things happen with that actual like explanation and I'm just a bit lost and I don't really want to read it. And then whenever I was picking it up, I was like, I don't want to do this. And I picked it up just after work today and I fell asleep. I never fall asleep reading books, but I fell asleep reading this. I think for one, because I was tired, but for two also, I was just losing the will to live reading this book. So I think I'm going to give up for now. I don't think I'm going to hate this book if I do finish it. So I'm not going to fully, fully DNF it. Usually when I DNF, it's gone, it's off my shelves. I'm never reading it, but I'm going to soft DNF this and I will come back to it at some point, hopefully, because the premise is cool. The writing is definitely interesting at this point, but it was picking up since we got to the point where she was 21. It is getting better. So I think I will enjoy it at some point. It's just not today and I hope you'll forgive me because this is a mood reading with me video. I'm hoping that you'll forgive me for that because my mood is telling me not to read. <laughs> so I'm not going to finish this. I'm going to quickly run through the other two books that we did manage to get to this week though because they have a pretty good read. They were pretty good reads. The first one I read was Coach. I gave this, I think a 3.5. I can't remember if it was a 3 or a 3.5. This was fun. It was exactly what I needed. I think I said when I was reading it, I just needed something to like drag me out of this slump and that is exactly what this did. It didn't have very much depth, but it was fun. It was quick. It was easy. It was exactly what I needed at the time. So I did very much enjoy this and I do like Devney Perry. I think this is the second or third book that I've read by her and I'm pretty sure she did the Eden series as well which I'm very intrigued to get to so I'm hoping to love that as well. I do very much like her writing. I think the romance was cute. I loved the premise of this. It was just like not enough depth for me to care enough to give it like a four star but it did what it needed to do. I then picked up Three Swedish Mountain Men as well. This was another one that I think I gave a three or 3.5. I feel like I kind of preferred Coach to this one if I really had to choose but I did enjoy this. I think the writing was good which is one of the reasons why I'm excited to carry on with this series even though I didn't love this one I think that the writing itself I very much enjoyed so I think I'll enjoy the rest of her books in this series this one just fell a little bit flat for me I think the main thing was I did enjoy it for the first like 100 pages so I was like oh my god this is so good this is so cute and then when they actually started getting together I was like okay I'm getting a little bit of the ick because the main girl was cringing me out a little bit and even some of the guys were cringing me out a little bit 
and then we got to the third act conflict that I knew was coming and it played out exactly how I thought it would which wasn't in a good way um so I didn't like that very much and then after that they kind of all got their redemption arc but I was kind of put off by all of them like they kind of gave me the ick by the way that they acted during the third act conflict so I didn't really forgive them especially this dude as I keep saying it was fine it was fun it was enjoyable it was quick I am very intrigued to read the rest of the series as well so that's kind of our little stack for the week I obviously didn't end up finishing this I will read it at some point maybe I'll include it in a video later on because I am still very much intrigued I'm a little bit disappointed because I was so excited for this. I think I haven't shut up about this book since I bought it because it's one of those books that I've been putting off buying because it's been too expensive but I've been wanting to read for ages. So I'm gonna hold on to it and hope that it gets better slightly down the line. If any of you guys have read this and enjoyed it, please let me know because I'm now scared to finish this book. But yeah, it's a little stack for the week. I had a really nice week. I am very excited for tomorrow because my boyfriend is finally back. So that's kind of what I'm counting down to. I am heading off for dinner now. I'm going out for dinner with my friends and then it'll be the weekend and I get to see my boyfriend. So I'm very excited. It's been a nice week overall it's been nice and chill if you guys like these videos please feel free to let me know because i very much enjoy doing them because sometimes having a really really strict set tbr can drag a bit and i am a mood reader at heart i never used to set tbrs or anything before i had this channel i would just pick up whatever i wanted whenever i wanted so i very much like doing mood reads with me so if you guys also enjoy them then let me know and i'll do more of these also thank you so much to your reaction to my like tbr video i put up a video of my physical tbr and i got so many comments i asked you guys to comment on it books that you would like to see me read and I've gotten so many responses and I'm going to be restarting up my TBR takedown series which you guys seem to really like so I'm very excited for that and I think it will make it even more fun because it's books that you guys have recommended to me and I'm very excited for 99% of them so thank you very much for watching please feel free to like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video and I will see you whenever I next see you.